navy and army all of them are convinced that by request would give them and the rest of the men in the service the biggest break of the war if we just show some shots of their very special hometown ok mike here we go a quick tour of brooklyn beginning with the famous bridge looking at it from lower manhattan then into the downtown district several requests came in for this shot of fulton street so here it is this shot of henry street is for vincent guarantiano somewhere in france when these three sailors reached home on leave they didn't waste any time all brooklyn girls of course all right boys now we'll have the kiss thank you to most men in service brooklyn is merely a convenient word on which to hang a gag but not to brooklynites born and bred there to them it's a good place to visit and a fine place to live they think of it not only as a city divorced from the rest of new york but as a move a spirit with places like prospect park where there's snow on the ground long after it's melted everywhere else these particular pictures of lookout mountain were taken for James Mannix, Bill Walsh, and Sam Beanland, all seamen aboard the USS Adonis. And Corporal John Meyer, out of the States now for over two years, reminds us that Brooklyn is sometimes called the City of Churches. Asks to see St. Teresa's, his parish church. Says it'd give him and 2,500 other Teresians in the service a lot of pleasure. Here's a shot of Shore Road for Sergeant Lester Rodney and several others who wrote in saying a glimpse of it and the bay would help take care of that homesick feeling. Now, everyone knows that a tree grows in Brooklyn, so naturally we had to include it. But Sergeant Applebaum thinks we should show a picture of Easton Parkway just to prove that more than one tree grows there. No pictures of Brooklyn would be complete without a glimpse of the stadium at Ebbets Field and them lovely bums in action. Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Arch, erected in honor of some other Brooklyn boys who went off to fight an important war in 1861. Sanford Smith, a seaman first class in the United States Coast Guard, writes that he's seen magazine pictures of Lena Romay, but has never heard her sing. How's chances, he asks, of seeing her on the screen? The chances are very good, seaman first class Smith. Here she is. Chiu 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 Mira que la vida es triste Que tu cantar me alegra el corazón Chiu 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 Canta, canta, pajarito, que tu cantar me alegra el corazón. Con tus gorjeos, con tu trinar, despierta el alba la noche y ya se va. Con tus gorjeos, con tu trinar, despierta el alba la noche y ya se va. Chi, 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 chi. My heart singing just for two. Chiu, 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 chiu. This is the song I sang last night to you. Chiu, 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 chiu. Means my heart is on the wing. Chiu, 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 chiu. And when you're near, I hear an angel sing. My love is soaring, I'm flying high. You're so adoring, my heart is in the sky. The bird that's singing will soon be through. Then I'll be winging my song of love to you. Chee, 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 chee. 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 Chee, chee, chee
Chiu-chiu, mira que la vida es triste, que tu cantar me alegra el corazón. Chiu-chiu-chiu-chiu, canta, canta, pajarito, que tu cantar me alegra el corazón. There it is for this time, fellas. Keep the letters coming, and we'll keep trying to answer them. Remember the address, by request department, Army, Navy, Screen Magazine, New York City. The G.I. Journal. It's the G.I. Journal. Yes, sir, it's the G.I. Journal again, your radio newspaper of the AEF, the paper that prints all your contributions from overseas. Men, on the target range, a bull is a clean hit. Well, here's a man who, while he may not be a hit, is definitely a lot of bull. Your original editor-in-chief, Kay Kaiser. Well, hiya, men. Hiya, well, well, say, men, it's sure a man size help and a pleasure being your editor again. This is your five-star final, and standing by are your five-star reporters. Till then, of course, our star outside reporter, Professor Colonna, who ought to be calling in with a big story right now. Uh, hello? Uh, hello, city desk? Hello, desk. This is Colonna. I'm overseas with the ground troops. We're on a forced march. A forced march? Really? Yes, and we're carrying full field packs and everything. We're really loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Kelowna. Of course, some of us are loaded more than the others. <laughs> hold the presses, hold the presses. Some very fine poems just come in from overseas. Okay, yes, Kabib, we'll read them. The first one is Private Franny Bates, overseas. See the happy moron, he laughs at every slam. I wish I were a moron. My gosh, perhaps I am. <laughs> One more is. This one is from, from Wack Magdalene Colas. Roses are red, violets are blue. I know violets are blue because I seen her hanging them out in the line the other day. <laughs> well, don't let, don't let that throw you, man. If you have a cute little poem or limerick on hand, send it into GI Journal, Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA, and we'll read it to you. And now we present our lovely editor of your letters overseas, Linda Darnell. Hello there, Kate. Tonight you're going to have a brand new editor for the letters from the men, because I'm leaving on a tour of army camps overseas. Oh, no fooling. Well, yeah. tell me, who's the new editor going to be? Well, she's a very good friend of mine, and she's from MGM, and her name is Lucille Ball. Come Yay! on. Okay. The Lucille Ball. I adore you. I worship you. Oh, every beat of my heart is a flame that burns your name in my soul. Okay, Kay, don't be ridiculous. Well, you just met me. Hey, listen, a chow hound doesn't have to wait for dinner to be hungry, you know. <laughs> uh, hello, Kay Kaiser speaking. Kay Kaiser? <laughs> well, what strikes you so funny, Kelowna? <laughs> I put in one slug and I got another. <laughs> Listen, Colonna, you're supposed to be overseas with the troops getting a story for G.I. Journal. That's just where I am, Chief. Camouflage to look just like a tree. You look just like a tree? Yes, exactly like a tree. Hmm. Pardon me a minute, Chief. Sure. Lassie, go home. <laughs> Journal, we come now to another one of your favorites. Hello, young man. I sort of remember you from someplace. You're, uh... I'm a lieutenant, a colonel, a a private side sack. Another chapter in our story, the life of sad sack. We pick up our story when the sad sack was first born. The proud father looks at the tiny bundle and says to the mother, You're supposed to keep the baby, not the stork. (laughs) 
But the sad sack proves to his parents that he is a brilliant child. At the end of his very first year in school, he comes running home with the happy news. Uh, me, Mama, I, I got from from um, um, uh, from uh, uh, they, 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 I got I, I got skipped to the next uh, class. Uh, they, they gave me a uh, med. Uh, 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 I've been expelled. <laughs> Romance came to the sad sack. He met the girl of his dreams. He tries to make love by serenading her. He holds her hand and sings. Hey, what am I gonna get? A kiss or a quart of milk? <laughs> Before the draft board gets the rest of my band, we better set up a musical headline for our pinup girl. It's gorgeous Georgia Cara. Come here, honey. Uh, say a few words, would you? I sure can, and I'd like to thank all the men for their wonderful letters and their pinup pictures of themselves. Keep them all coming in, won't you? Oh, they will, sugar. Now, uh, how about that tune? Okay. All right. <laughs> Now, uh, folks, especially for the 2nd Motor Transport Battalion and the men at APO 986, Georgia sings this beautiful song. I'll be around no matter how you treat me now. I'll be around from now on. And when it's past, I'll be around when she's gone. Goodbye again. And if you find a love like mine, just now. Feeling fine, and when things go wrong, perhaps you'll see you're meant for me. fun being your editor. I'll be back this way real soon. And until then, and until then, remember, folks, if you want to write for any of the editors here on the show, all you have to do is to write in any little gag that will fit, and we'll be glad to use it. 